Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a little luxury haul, just a couple of the items that I have purchased lately. If you're new here, welcome. But if you've been with me for a while, then you probably know that I am on a low buy for 2022. So my hauls might not be quite as impressive as they once were. I'm focused on quality over quantity. And the low buy is directed towards makeup specifically, makeup, hair care, skincare, the categories that I just have so many products already. Not so much directed towards fashion or fragrance, but today I have a little bit of everything. So I'm going to begin with this Christian Dior box that has been sitting here for a while waiting to be unboxed. This envelope came with it. I think this is just the return policy from Dior. I think this might be my first purchase made directly on Dior.com, but I went ahead and I signed up for their loyalty program, which is pretty cool. Ooh, it's heavy. And this is the box. In the future, I will most likely opt for the eco-friendly packaging, but I did want to see what it looked like when they put it in the gift packaging. Looks like it just flips right open. And the back's gonna fall, there we go. Inside is a little red Dior envelope. I believe this is the pattern for Chinese New Year. Very pretty. Protective wrapping. Ooh, they included so many goodies. I did have, I think, two promo codes that I entered at checkout. So this is what I purchased. I might as well show you that first. I picked up both of the new reformulated foundations. So these aren't technically new, they're just reformulated, but they're two of their most popular foundations, so I had to try for myself. So I have the Dior Forever, Transfer Proof 24-Hour Foundation, High Perfection, Concentrated Floral Skincare with Sunscreen. It has SPF 15, so not much. Very minimal sun protection. And then I also picked up the Forever Skin Glow. I picked up both in shade 3N Neutral. It's been so long since I originally placed the order, I don't remember the major difference between this new formula versus the old formula. I think this new formula is supposed to be formulated with more natural ingredients, and of course it is concentrated with floral skincare as well. I know I've tried both of these in the past, but I don't really remember what I thought of them. If I can, I'll go back and I'll maybe look up my review. I remember reviewing the new Forever Skin Glow maybe two or three years ago whenever this launched. I also picked up one last item here. This is a candle. I've had my eyes on this candle ever since they launched the fragrance last year, and if I like it, I might end up with even more ancillary items. So I like this bag. I didn't realize it came in this little drawstring bag. It's a nice little touch. This is something that I could hold on to and maybe use for travel. When I'm packing my suitcase, I can throw my bras or underwear in there or something like that. But this is the Eden Rock candle. This is such a fresh, kind of light, vacation-inspired fragrance. I knew it would make a wonderful candle from the moment I first smelled it. When it comes to luxury candles or my more expensive candles, I am guilty of collecting but never lighting them, but I have no intention of doing that with this candle. This is going to go out in the living room area and I'm going to light this. I'm excited to light this because I really do like the fragrance. I don't just like the overall aesthetic of the candle. I do really like the aesthetic as well, but I think the scent is so nice that I am, cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'll probably light this tonight. But candles like my dip tea candle back there, I have a few other really nice candles. I could just kind of keep them, display them. At some point I will probably light them, but they're really not for use. I think this is the perfect addition to my collection because not only will it smell incredible, it will look amazing as well. This little pamphlet fell out from the top of the box. This has instructions, I guess safety instructions for the candle. Basically it says, just make sure you trim the wick before each use. For each use, burn between two to three hours at a time to fully release the candle's scent and create the ideal fragrant ambiance. Do not leave the candle burning. Basically tells you don't burn the house down, which hopefully we all know better. But the candle itself smells so Amazing, as soon as I unboxed it, I just whoosh, was hit in the face with this fragrance. Look at this color, this bright teal, and the smell is so fresh. It, this is why I just think of vacation. Whenever I see this and smell this, I saw it in store and I knew it was just 
a matter of time before I purchased. Really quickly, I just wanna show you all of the little gifts with purchase that I received in the box because Dior is not shy with their gifts with purchase. In fact, if you're going to make any sort of purchase on Dior.com, I highly recommend checking to see if there is some sort of promo code. That is if you really like samples. Sometimes I skip them because I have so many samples that I just don't wanna keep collecting them, but other times you can get a nice little deluxe size of something that Maybe you're interested in trying. So this is one of the deluxe samples. This is part of the Dior Prestige line. It's La Creme. So this is the essential texture. So I have a nice little deluxe sample of moisturizer. This is a little Rouge Dior. This is 999. It's a velvet, so it's a matte, but this is the classic 999 red Dior lipstick. They threw in a sample of one of their exclusive fragrances. I don't think I've ever smelled that one. Here are two samples of Dior Show Maximizer 3D, that's the Lash Enhancer, and then a little sample of the Capture Total Cell Energy Firming and Wrinkle Correcting Cream. So another little moisturizer sample. This is Dior Sauvage. And then here's a generous sample packet of the new foundation. This one I couldn't choose, else I probably would have chosen something else since I purchased this foundation, but I think it's nice that they're including these sample card so it says new generation forever 50 years of expertise and then inside you get nine different shades to sample so that's really convenient if you are purchasing something other than the foundation to receive this with your package might tempt some people and then down here at the bottom is this little christian dior pillow which I think is a really nice, luxurious touch. They probably included that for the candle's sake. And I'll hold on to it because this is something that I could use to maybe stuff in my handbags to help them hold their shape. Surprisingly, that's all I have for beauty. We are now 18 days into 2022, and that is my one and only beauty purchase so far this year. So my Lubai is going strong. I feel so proud of myself. I have to interrupt with one more beauty purchase so far this year. I picked up both of the new limited edition Comet blushes from Chanel. I purchased mine from the boutique last week, but they are available on Chanel.com as well, and I have both shades here. This is Coral Etoile and Peche Cosmique. And what makes these blushes so interesting is that they have such a beautiful design embossed right on top of the powder. When you tilt it forward, all you see is the star, but when you tilt it back, all you see is the CC logo. So you can see the logo is constantly being reflected in the mirror. It looks so much cooler in person than it does on camera. I plan to review and swatch both of these blushes this week and I will do a ton of comparisons, but I think they are so pretty. This is just one of those special pieces that if you're a Chanel beauty collector, you are going to love this. But I do have some other fashion items here, including these really cute new booties from Stuart Weitzman. So this is a purchase I made on guilt.com, formerly known as Guilt Group. I love shopping at Guilt, Rue La La. There are a couple other websites that I just love to check out because they have their featured sales like boots, winter gear. Sometimes they'll focus on a designer like vintage Louis Vuitton bags, vintage Hermes, or Fendi items, and for a limited time, you can shop that sale, and sometimes you can find some incredible deals, real hidden gems. I do always like to double check, just because it's a designer or luxury item, and it may seem drastically reduced and really marked down, you can sometimes find a better deal somewhere else. These, I know I got a really great deal. They are available right now on NordstromRack.com, but I purchased mine for 170 and they are 550 originally, and I think they're maybe 220 on Nordstrom Rack at the moment. So I did get an additional $50 off, but what's so great about them is that I needed them. I don't have anything else like this in my closet, so it was the best kind of buy. I kind of cheated. I already unwrapped them, and I removed the tissue from the inside because I was so desperate to wear these last weekend. My husband and I attended a really cool art showcase and I had nothing to wear. I have several pairs of black boots, but they're knee high boots, over the knee boots. I have maybe two pairs, I think, of black booties, but I think they're open toe. And it's been surprisingly cool outside here in Miami. So this was the perfect shoe and I went ahead and I wore them out for the night. They're black, so they're gonna go with just about everything. I think they look really cute, very chic. They have this one little bow detail on the back, 
But that's about it. I like the fact that they're pretty plain. That way you can kind of just throw them on and you don't really have to think too hard about it. The heel height is only about three, maybe three and a quarter inches. So they're not too tall, but they do give you a little height. They are so comfortable. They're so stylish and they were such a great deal. And this is what I mean about mindful purchases. If I already owned 10 pairs like this, even with the discount, it would have been a terrible purchase. But because this is something that I needed and it really adds a lot of value to my wardrobe, these, these are gonna go with so many different outfits. I just can't believe I got such a great deal on these. I'm coming to you with more fashion. This is one of my favorite pieces that I have picked up in a really long time. This is from the brand Maj Paris, and this was purchased from Farfetch. Now, I did a partnership with them for Instagram stories, so this was sent to me complimentary, or I was able to pick out an item, so this I did not pay for, but... I went on to do a little Maj haul because they have several items marked down and for the full price items, I do have a coupon code for Farfetch. There are several terms and conditions that apply. So I think it has to be a full price item over $150 and it has to be your very first purchase on the website. So I will make sure I leave the information down below in case anybody is interested. They have really great specialty pieces. It's one of the best websites I like to search for designer items, luxury items, more elevated pieces. But this dress in particular, I remember seeing this in the window at the Maj store in Brickle City Center. And I thought, wow, that is really something special. It just shimmers and glitters. I don't know if the camera is really going to be able to pick it up, but especially in the sunlight, it looks absolutely beautiful. You can tell by the style that it is certainly inspired by Chanel. So it has a zip, kind of zips up and down, and then these are true working buttons. So there's no side zip or back zip. You kind of have to open it from the front and then slip it on like a blazer or a jacket. Their quality is amazing. Just really incredible feeling materials. The cut of everything is always really nice, but I just love the way this silhouette just kind of skims the body. And I also picked up the right size and I was going to size down. I'm glad I didn't. So I purchased a size 36. It was available in a 34, but it was sold out. The 36 fit me perfectly. So it hits maybe a little bit below mid knee. It's kind of the perfect length. It's not too tight, but it's not too loose either. I don't feel like this adds bulk or makes me look like I'm wearing a giant potato sack. I think it looks so chic. The fit, the cut, everything about this dress is so special. After I placed an order for the dress, it arrived, I tried it on and it fit so beautifully. I went back to the website because I did notice they had a bunch of really cute pieces on sale and that's when I placed this order. So these are the items that I purchased from Farfetch. So this is the box they came in. I picked up three pieces and I'm hoping that I can style them together to make one really fabulous outfit. So the first item is this really cute pink plaid skirt. And again, it feels like a really thick material. I just pulled up my order confirmation because I think at the time I ordered, they had some sort of additional discount, like 40% off of sale going on that they don't currently have. Every once in a while, they have an additional 40% off sale, so keep your eyes peeled for it. But this Jaleesa skirt was originally $2.95. Right now, it's on sale for $2.57, but I bought this skirt for $1.30. So I thought that was a really significant discount. It's so cute. This I did purchase in a size 34, but I tried it on already and it fits perfectly. In fact, it, I could probably take it in a little bit. I'm not going to, but if I wanted it to sit a little bit higher on my waist, right now it kind of sits kind of perfect mid-waist, but it has a stretchy back. So it's slightly stretchy, has a little give, just in case you go out for lunch or for a heavy meal and you end up eating a lot. So it's nice and comfortable. It has the perfect length. Again, it's not too short. It's something that you could wear with black booties, like the Stuart Weitzman booties, maybe knee-high boots I think would re look really cute. And then it has these really pretty silver buttons down the front. So it's very preppy, 
kind of perfect for fall, but because of the color, I think it looks really cute for spring as well. To go with the skirt, I picked up this cute little knit top. This is the Pearl Applique Top, originally 145, currently marked down to 109, but I purchased mine for $75, and it feels really nice. It's kind of a thick knit, stretchy material. It's slightly cropped, but I think since the skirt sits a little bit higher up on the waist, it might show a teeny tiny bit of skin, but not much. But what I really love about it is that it has this really pretty pearl button right here on either side. And you, I could even wear this with high-waisted white pants, high-waisted skirt, jeans even, I think maybe with a blazer and heels. So many different ways to style something like this. It's basically a shell to wear underneath. It's a nice under layer, layering piece. This I purchased in a size one. Kind of figured that should do the trick. I think this is the size that they said the model was wearing, so I figured this should work for me. I'm pretty petite on top, so I usually go with an extra small. It feels like a very thick, heavy sweater material, but it's a tank top and it's cropped, so it's kind of the perfect sweater to wear in Miami, Florida. And then the very last item I picked up to go with the outfit is this beautiful pink cardigan. And just like the dress, it has sparkles, little silvery sequins kind of woven into the fabric. This doesn't feel like there are sequins with the tweed dress because it's tweed too. It kind of feels a little bit rougher, at least on the outside. It's lined on the inside. This still feels so soft. It just feels... If I didn't have makeup on, I would rub it on my face. It feels buttery and like a baby's blanket. And I love the color. This light pink is really beautiful. And it kind of has light pink, medium pink, and then a brighter pink stitch in when you look up close. The beautiful pearl buttons to match the black sweater with little rhinestones on the outside. I absolutely love this cardigan. And this is not a cropped length. So it's long sleeve, hits about mid waist. Right now, this is on sale for $2.96. It was originally $3.40, but when I picked this up, I had the larger discount. So I got my sweater for $1.50, down from $3.40. I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's just a really beautiful piece, really nice layering piece. I think this will go with just about anything and everything as well. I could take it with me to the movies if I think I'm gonna get cold. We haven't been to the theaters in a long time because there hasn't been anything good out, but we do have a really nice, kind of quiet, very small movie theater nearby. So if we do go out on the weekends, we usually see what's playing there first. But I can think of so many reasons, so many different occasions where a beautiful pink card cardigan would be the perfect kind of cherry on top of the outfit. Again, it's so thick and such great quality. Just beautiful, and I love these buttons. I don't think, did they? Yes, they included a little extra button right here, just in case, I'm so glad. I tried on everything separately just to make sure it fit and I didn't have to return anything, but I haven't tried on this outfit together as one ensemble, so I'm hoping that this goes really nicely together. I think individually I could break up the pieces and it would be fine, but the idea in my head, the reason I placed the purchase was because I kind of thought this would be one really cute outfit all together. And that completes my haul. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I'm curious to know which you prefer. Do you mind seeing smaller luxury hauls or would you rather me wait until I have a lot of items and then do one giant video? Let me know what you prefer down in the comment section. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.